So, to make this omelette, you will need a jug, a little bit of milk, a little bit of butter, a couple of eggs, some red onion, some leftover chicken, uh, now you can use cooked chicken or raw chicken, uh, if you use kit chicken you need to make sure it's thoroughly cooked before you then add the omelette mix, a uh, bit of fry light better healthier alternative and some occasion spices knife to chop it all up with oh, I pre-prepared it and a fork to whisk it up with so first things first you will need a frying pan let's turn a Z frying pan on now this is a halogen oven so as you can see look it's starting to heat up in fact, it looks red to me, but to you, it looks like a completely different colour. Interesting. So, stick that on. Give it a few good squirts of fry light. That'll just stop it from sticking. So, whilst that's heating up, we would normally just prepare this. But as we got this prepared, We'll just get the omelette mixer. Now all I do is get a small knob of butter. Doesn't have to be much. Um, now I am lactose intolerant, so I am actually using uh, Flora dairy free butter and I am also using lacto free milk. So more splash of milk just to bulk it out more than anything um, I will put a tiny little sprinkle of Cajun spices in there, not too much um, and then all we need to do is add the eggs but as the frying pan is getting hot what I will do is put plenty of Cajun spice in the frying pan Get the spatula out of the cupboard. Kind of mix that up a little bit. Now, really, you want to make a paste, but because I'm using fry light, it's not easy to make a paste. So, what I will do now is I will just add the chicken and the onion because the juices from there will marinate the chicken and the onion <coughs> oh excuse me I've not been very well so as the juices leach out It'll go into the Cajun spices. Just a I've got this cut quite high, so let's turn it down a little bit. So, let's leave that. Now, this is cooked chicken already, so what I'm wanting to do is just cook the chicken through so it's hot and it's golden brown. That way, I know the chicken is fully hot before I add the rest of the mix and that way we make sure all the bugs and the salmonella is dead right so couple of eggs 
as you want. You can put as many eggs as you want. I'm just putting two. So, they go over into our food bin. Ooh, glow and dark pegs, really good. I'm going to do a review of them soon. And the most important bit, wash your hands. So make sure you get the wrist in between the fingers. Make sure you get in the fingernails and definitely get all your palms. Make sure all the bacteria is dying and then rinse off. Now I used to be with uh, St. John Ambulance and um, they had this sort of really really cool sort of cream that you would wear into your hands um, and we would shine it under a UV light and it would allow us to actually see where the cream was on our hands then we were told to go and wash and it's really really good at indicating how clean your hands are and how well you're washing your hands So as you see, look, it's starting to go golden brown. That's a combination of the spices and the chicken cooking. So this is something I like to whip up after I've been out exercising. So it's got chicken and eggs, which is full of protein. Uh, and then your body can uh, use that protein to repair. So that's nearly done. So let's get this whipped up and ready to go so the idea is we need to break the yolks and we just give it a bit of a whisk now what I am going to do although I've got Cajun spices is I just add a little bit of pepper a little bit of salt just to add some flavour So, give it a good mix. And before I do forget, let's put this back in the fridge so it doesn't go off. It's a problem with having lacto-free lacto -free stuff. The, um, it goes off quite quickly. Which is unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. So yeah, this is just some Swartz Perfect Shake Cajun Spices. Really, really, really good with chicken. It is amazing. We can get it from Try that again. We can, you can get it from uh, your local shop. Uh, in my case, I got it from my local co-op. So what you want with this mix is for the, the butter to sort of mush down and spread throughout. And you want a good yellow tone and you want to well mix the egg and the milk and the butter together so I'm going to rinse that under the tap that for washing later. Now this seems to be cooking just nicely. So as you can see this is a tea file and they got a red spot in the middle. Now when that red spot goes completely red it's usually good to cook with them. However because I'm doing this um, with fry light I don't want the pan to get too hot too quick because the smoke alarm will go off and believe me it's very sensitive so as it's getting a bit smoky I'll turn the extra fan on so do apologize about the noise
and we spread this out uh, pour it all around like so now providing your pan is fairly hot that should cook pretty quickly on the bottom as you can see look cue the smoke alarm irritating things the moment you go and put near a piece of bread anywhere near the toaster or you cook with fry light guaranteed the smoke alarm will go off so I know the bottom was slightly cooked but what I'm doing is just flipping it over to try and sort of mix it up a little bit just to cook it a little bit better um, now I used to have issues where I couldn't eat eggs or chicken so I have to make sure this is thoroughly cooked um, I know you it may look like it's like scrambled egg but now what I do because I've got a lot of that cooked I just leave that like that now to uh, to cook and it sort of moulds itself together and then I flip it like a pancake Now this might be a little bit difficult to do with a uh, camera but um, if only you could smell these aromas oh, amazing Cajun spice is one of my favourite spices um, also in my bug out bag I have one of these which is um, Perfect shape, season, or spice. It's basically just the blend of herbs and spices. Really, really good when you add that to things like beans and stuff. It just gives it a kick. Either that or the good old Tabasco sauce, which is still in the fridge. Uh, it was still in the fridge. There it is. Tabasco sauce. Can't be a bit of Tabasco. Look at that, spot on. I am really, really, really good at making pancakes. Who knows when pancake day comes round, I might show you how to make pancakes. Now, I'm part of Slimming World, so I can uh, lose the big old belly. And with the exception of the milk and the butter, which would, you would have to sin, everything else is free so this omelette works out I think about three sins which is really really good just keep making sure you move it so it doesn't get um, stuck to the pan I know it's a non-stick but and all you need to do is go buff and that is lunch done so put that with your favourite sauce. Turn it across. So in my case, I think I am going to go for a little bit of ketchup. You can have whatever you want, brown sauce, Worcester sauce, whatever. Um, so we've got some Texas barbecue sauce. Whatever you want with it. My nork is basically a fork with a knife on the side. Really, really good. And as Pete Marine Wiseman would say, yummy. So let's try it. Mmm, delicious. Spawn right again. Alright, until next time, catch you later.